Hi everyone, and welcome to TWF NXT Royal Rumble, or King Rick Loudness. I am Gene Okalin, or Mean Gene Okalin. I am Gene Okalin here with Trini Kwan and with Wade Barrett. And today on, and today on, and, and today on NXT, we're going to have a King Rick Loudness or the Royal Rumble. Well, yes. Just to let you know, Trini Kwan said, we're not going to have as many men or women in this Royal Rumble or this King Rick Loudness. Not having to do with COVID, but having to do with time and how much time we have. Because we got to put all these folks away when we're done doing the show, too, Trini Kwan said. That's right. So we got some of the folks out who we think would make this a good King Rick Loudness, Wade Barrett says. It might not have as many folks in it as the other years were, but... Keep in mind, everyone we take out, that's everyone we got to put back. So this King of Loudness is going to start out with, uh, it's going to start out with Buzz Lightyear. It is now time for the King Rick Loudness. First, he is first the man who chose... Track one, Buzz Lightyear. And now the man who now chose Track two, Evil Kaiser Zerg. Thinking, well, this fight's going right on the way, Gene Oakland says. Oh, an Evil Kaiser Zerg going right after Buzz Lightyear. Well, you do know that on Toy Story or Toy Saga or whatever you want to call it, or the Buzz Lightyear show, that Evil Kaiser Zerg and Buzz Lightyear were foes of each other. It was never ever said why they were foes of each other. They just were. Gene Oakland said, I don't know, Trini Kwan said, Buzz Lightyear taking care of Evil Kaiser Zerg here. And the King Rick Loudness, Trini Kwan said, Buzz Lightyear is a former w, a former T, a former world heavyweight winner. He fought Samoa Joe many years. Nine. Oh, there goes the fight. There goes the fight for him, and he's out. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the next one coming in in the ring now is Aladdin. And now this isn't going, this is not going to be well. And now Aladdin just took down Evil Kaiser Zerg. Aladdin helping Buzz Lightyear do a flanton bomb on Evil Kaiser Zerg, Gene Oakland said. That's not fair, Wade Barrett said, to help Buzz Lightyear and Aladdin beat up on Evil Kaiser Zerg. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and... It's Jafar. And now Jafar and Aladdin are now going at it now. And Aladdin wants to seek to throw out Jafar here in this King Rick loudness. Jafar doesn't have his hat, doesn't got his staff, which he'd be taking him off anyway. He just body slammed Aladdin. Down went, down went Buzz Lightyear. Aladdin right now having a hard time getting back on his feet. Oh, Buzz Lightyear. Oh, oh, Wade Barrett said he got caught. Oh, his his shoes got caught on the on the wire, but Aladdin got got Jafar and down. Oh, on him. Gene Oakland said. Well, Trini Kwan said, Buzz Lightyear and Aladdin got the upside. On Jafar and Evil Kaiser Zerg here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and uh oh, it's Sami Zayn in there. What did he? What did he do? Okay, why did he hit the fight foreman for? Why'd you do that for, Sammy? Oh well, you know. Come on, why is it? lopsided like this. Why is it crooked? Oh, be straight. You know why I did it for? Because there's no throw outs. 
Well, guess what? You're out then. Fuck! Well, it looks like Sami Zayn isn't going to be in this at all, Gene Oakland said. Which well, truly sucks to be him after the stunt he pulled. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it's Biggie Langston, the Pennsylvania Reich winner. He just threw Sami Zayn right in the ring now. And now they're both going at it now. Big ending on Sami Zayn now. Starting starting to fill up here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and this is not doing very well. Oh no, this is about to pick up. Randy Orton's coming in the ring now. Uh oh, Randy Orton. RKO did Aladdin and he threw and just threw Aladdin out. So Aladdin's now out now. This is not good. Buzz Lightyear RKO's and he's out. Means Buzz Lightyear is out now. And Sami Zayn thinks he got every, Randy Orton going. Biggie Langston fighting Randy Orton. Oh, Sami Zayn just got. Just helped to get Biggie Langston out of the King Rick Lowness and he's gone now. It's us and all the evil folks now. It's us and all the evil folks now. Uh, oh! That was a lie. Jafar is gone. And Randy Orton and Sami Zayn working together. Oh! And now evil Kaiser Zerg has been thrown out. We're good friends. Yeah, you are. Get the fuck out. Oh! And now Sami Zayn's been thrown out. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and... Well, now it's time for the women to be in there now. Mandy Rose just took down Randy Orton. And now Dana Brooks in there now. And now Randy Orton getting beat up right now by Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose right now. Oh! The two women to be in this King Rick loudness here. And now they're going to throw Randy Orton out. Oh! Randy Orton just threw Mandy Rose out. She's gone. Now Randy Orton just threw, just RKO'd at Dana Brooke and now Dana Brooke's gone. Nine, eight, the last man to be in the King of Loudness here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and... Uh-oh, it's the Fiend, Bray Wyatt. He's in there now. Randy Orton. Oh, he just sister Abigail Randy Orton. Now he's jamming a claw in his mouth, Gene Oakland said. Oh, Trini Kwan said... Who would have thought he would be the last man to be in the King Rick Loudness? Well, we better hope he doesn't win it. But the hang up is now he has to throw him over the top rope and out. Wade Barrett said. Oh! Whoa! Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner of the King Rick Loudness. And now has the right to either face Drew McIntyre for the had the TWF heavyweight winnings or the world heavyweight for Drew McIntyre for the TWF heavyweight winnings or Roman Reigns for the world heavyweight winnings Randy Orton and Randy Orton actually he's uh, Randy Orton somehow some way has won the King Rick Loudness uh, Gene Oakland says oh he did it he threw everyone out. Biggie Langston, Evil Kaiser Zerg, Buzz Lightyear, Jafar Aladdin, Mandy Rose, Dana Brooke. He then threw out the Fiend Bray Wyatt himself. He outlasted everyone. Or at least he believes he outlasted everyone. And now Jim Ron... Uh, he outlasted everyone, Wade Barrett said. Trini Kwan said, good for Randy Orton. 
but bad for either Drew McIntyre or, or, you know, Arch. You know, you know, either bad for Randy Orton. I mean, good for Randy Orton, but either bad for either Drew McIntyre or Roman Reigns. Gene Oakland said, "Yeah," Trini Kwan said. Randy Orton's going to behave like he's some kind of overcoming do-gooder, but he's not. You're right about that one, Gene Oakland said. And now Jim Ross is going to talk with him. Randy Orton, you won the King Rick Loudness, even though it's the shortest one of them all. And somehow, someway now, you get to either face either Drew McIntyre or Roman Reigns. And why is my hand can't stand up that long? Well, it's like this, Jim Ross. If you think I'm going to show up in one of those ugly ROH shirts, one of those, my mistake, one of those ugly AEW shirts, then you got never guess coming. See, I am the winner of this King Rick loudness. You see, they were going to pull a lot more folks in here. But then they felt that, oh, it would be too long, too many folks to put away, and at the end of the day, I would still win either way. They wouldn't care if they put Hercules and Ares in it. I wouldn't care who else they offshooted. I wouldn't care if it was Godzilla or even Space Godzilla being put in it. At the end of the day, I would have RKO'd it threw everyone out just like I did. Well, just like you did, right? Yeah, like I did. And like I've been like I've been saying, now I will have a seat. I will have the seat to be the world heavyweight winner again. Me. And at the end of the day. I will be the world heavyweight winner again. Or I'll be the TWF heavyweight winner. And there was nothing that no one could do to stop it. So, Drew McIntyre, I hope that you get ready. Or should I say Roman Reigns, I hope you get ready. Because right now, no one knows who I'm going for. You know, at the end of the day, no one knows who I'm going to be fighting. You know? So, I hope that they all get ready for me, Randy Orton says. So, at the end of the day, I hope they all get ready for me. I hope Drew McIntyre gets ready. I hope that Roman Reigns gets ready. Because any one of those will be the man that I will fight. <clears throat> the man I will fight for the TWF heavyweight winnings or world heavyweight winnings. And at the end of the day, I did it by myself, Jim Ross. Once again, I showed everyone why I'm the evilest son of a bitch and on this earth. Screw everyone else who says that. When I say it, I mean it. <sighs> well, we sure, well, that might be true, Randy Orton, that you might mean it, and you might be the only one out there that, that might be true about you being the meanest man walking God's green earth. Well, that's more of a belief and thought, but at the end of the day, Randy Orton, you did win the King of Loudness. You did outlive outlive, well, you know, not know if they're dead or anything, but you did live through the king with loud, the king with loudness that, you know, happened. And I'll tell you another thing. 
I'm getting about, I'm getting sick and tired. I'm getting about sick and ill of dealing with the fiend Bray Wyatt and his bullshit. You know Jim Ross, he, he, he seemed to come out earlier and he thought that he was going to get back at me or something. Like in his mind, he truly believed that he was going to win the King Lip Loudness. You know, and I guess it would be sad to all those Bray Wyatt followers out there. You know, truly sad that at the end of the day, he isn't the world going to be either the heavy, the TW heavyweight winner or the world heavyweight winner. And who really cares which one of his South Hoods that, that he's going as these days. Well, Randy Orton, you are a creep. You've been a creep for eight between years. Some of the, us folks believe it's getting old, but whatever. That's your, you have the right to behave like that. I have the right to scave you like that. And you know what, Jim Ross? If I didn't have a lot of on look for what you did in the UWF and what you did in uh, AMCW, uh, you know, WCW, WF, WE, AEW, I would have dropped you for RKO a long time ago. All right. You're out of here. All right, that's my talk with Randy Orton. Back to you, uh, Gene Oakland. Well, you're, well, thank you, Jim Ross. Thank you, Jim Ross, for talking with Randy Orton. You know. All right. Thank you, Jim Ross, for talking with uh, Randy Orton on NXT, you know, on NXT, uh, you know, here talking here on NXT, uh, the King of the Roundness. And that looks like it is all the time we got here. For T and so, what do you think about Randy Orton winning the King of Cloudness and either having the right, and either have either, <clears throat> you know, either having the right to either face um, Roman Reigns for the TWF, the World Heavyweight Winnings, or ha or having the right to either face uh, Roman Reigns for the World Heavyweight Winnings? But what do I think? I'll tell you what I think. I'll give you my thought and belief on it. At the end of the day, I truly believe that that Randy Orton, yes, yes, Randy Orton did work hard to get that win. We shouldn't go and take that away. Fuck. We uh, should not go. We should not take that away from him. But at the end of the day, I truly believe Randy Orton is still a creep, still behaves like a creep, um, and no one out there, oh, fuck, and no one out there, you know, should ever forget about that, uh, Trini Kwan says. Well, Wade Barrett said, sometimes behaving like a creep does help you. Sometimes it does get you over in this in this uh, world of skilled wrestling, Wade Barrett says, and sometimes it doesn't. And need be Randy Orton might be one of those times where it doesn't. But hell, Randy Orton has won the WWE World Heavyweight win has won the World Heavyweight winnings and WWE Heavyweight winnings many times. So nay, he might be on a something, Wade Barrett says. Well, Gene Oakland said, I believe Randy Orton did win the TWF, did win the King of Loudness. Uh, uh, you know, you know, it'd be a creep. That's a whole, they're unlike Saga and Tail. Well, it's all the time we got here for TWF NXT. I am Gene Oakland for Trini Kwan and Wade Barrett. We hope you like NXT. 
and we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Royal Rumble, King Rick Loudness, and we'll see you tomorrow for Dynamite.